Hello everyone. So today we're going to talk about our third woman in the lineage of Christ, Bathsheba. We know a lot about her, but in a very negative way. She was the woman whom David had an affair with and killed her husband to do so. And so we look at her with the evil eye. Why was she having her bath in the open? You know, as if she enticed David. But what we forget is that in those days, kings had absolute power. And as much power as they had, women were at the very, very bottom. So that gap was huge. I remember she was married to one of David's soldiers, people who had to say yes and obey David's every command. So even when David asked Uriah to go to the front of the line and be killed, he didn't have a choice because he was still a servant to the king. So we don't know how much choice she had in the matter. We don't know if there was abuse, if there was coercion. David was the king. Anyway, she ended up having this son who eventually died because of David's sin. So this woman uh, suffered a lot of tribulation. She lost her husband, Uriah, and soon after that, she lost her son. But God brought glory out of this tribulation because eventually she had Solomon, who eventually became king. Um, the second thing is that she was humble before God because when Nathan the prophet came to talk to her and said, you know what? Adonijah, one of David's son, is now saying that he's king. He's riding all over the city. He's killed cattle. Everyone is celebrating and jubilating as if he's the king. If you sit there and do nothing, Solomon is not going to become king. And she obeyed. She, she believed that was a word from God and believed the prophet and went into David. And then another thing is that she showed a lot of bravery going to speak to the king. Now, we all assume that David is her husband, but there was still a lot of gap. She was, he was still her king. And so she had to bow herself before him to give him this news. And she, she didn't even know how he was going to receive it, but she was brave because it took a lot for her to, to go before the king and ask her that. And she said to him, you promised me that Solomon was going to be king, but now Adonijah is making himself the king. What are you going to do about it? And so David did do something about it. He, he asked her to, uh, to go and, uh, and, and bring Solomon and for him to sit on his, uh, on his throne and, and for the prophet and the priest to tell all of Israel that Solomon is the king and all of that. So precisely because of the action that Bathsheba took, Solomon became king. We don't remember her for that. We don't talk about her for that. Nathan eventually also went to corroborate her story with the king, but she was the one who went first. And if she didn't go first to fight for her son, then Solomon would not have become king. So she was very impactful in that area. But I think the most important lesson is that, again, no matter how dark our past no matter the circumstances, God can still bring good and glory out of it. Thank you.